this is by far one of my highly requested videos a lot of people want to know how to play a switch emulator on the macbook so today i'm going to show you in this video i'll be showing you how to download ryu jinx for your macbook for this particular method you're going to need the official ryu jinx os download you're going to need the keys you're going to need the firmware and you're also going to need a switch game in an nsp or an xci file friends i will not be showing you where to get the keys the firmware or the games from because i have an original copy of everything but if you go to the link in the description trust me it'll help you so much that you can follow along with me on this download the first thing we're going to do after we go to the link and we download everything that's in that link we should have everything we now need to be successful within this download. We're first going to unzip any file that's not already unzipped. The great thing about the MacBook is usually it unzips your files as soon as you download them. But if the files don't unzip themselves, just go ahead and double click it and it should unzip for you. The first time you open up Ryu Jinx, you'll get this indication right here. It'll tell you that Ryu Jinx cannot open because Apple could not verify Ryu Jinx. You're simply going to click done and we're going to go to settings. Once we're at settings, we're going to find where it says privacy and we're going to go in that particular tab. Once we're at that tab, we're going to scroll all the way down to the security section and it should give you this indication that Ryu Jinx was blocked. We're just going to simply allow it. And once we allow it, it should go ahead and reopen for you and it should get an indication to put in your password. Go ahead and put in your password and now it should allow you to open the Ryu Jinx normally. When you first open Ryu Jinx, you're going to get an indication that they want you to add the keys. So that's the first thing that we're going to do. We're going to go to the top where it says file and we're going to open the Ryu Jinx folder. Once we find this folder, we're going to find the folder that says systems. Once we find that systems folder, this is where we'll place our keys. Once you place your keys, you simply exit out. And the next thing we're going to do is add the firmware. You're going to go to the top where it says tools. And then we're going to hover over install firmware. We're going to click where it says install a firmware from directory. We're simply going to find our 18.1 firmware. We're going to click it and then we're going to press open. You should get an indication that the firmware was added to your Ryu Jinx emulator. The next thing we're going to do is configure our controller. We're going to go to options. We're going to go to settings and then we're going to find where it says input. Once at input, our controller type will be Pro Controller, and our input device will be whatever controller that you have plugged up and you plan on playing with, whether that's an Xbox controller and or a PlayStation controller. You also can add or connect Switch Joy-Cons to this as well, if you like that. After you do that, you simply want to press Apply. If you want to configure any button on here, all you have to do is click what button you want to configure and then manually click it on your game controller. The next part we're going to go to is systems. We're simply going to select ignore missing services and click apply. The next tab we're going to go to is our graphics tab. We're going to make sure we're invoking and we're also going to make sure that our chip is selected. The last tab we're going to visit is our network tab. We're simply going to click guest internet and we're going to click apply. The last thing we're going to do is add our games. We're going to go to the top where it says options. We're going to find where it says settings. We're going to go to the user interface and we're going to look for game directory. We're going to click add and we're going to select the folder that has our switch games in it. After we do that, 
we're going to click apply and the game should pop up for us the only thing we have to do now is double click whatever game we want to play and it should go ahead and open up for you if you're excited to play on mac please hit that like and don't forget to go ahead and sub